Hello guys and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the REST API with the, the API gateway and link it to a Lambda function. All right, guys, let's jump in. As you can see right here, this is my AWS dashboard right here. And what we'll do is to simply go to AWS services right here. I will look for Lambda. We'll begin by creating a Lambda function. Okay. Let's look for Lambda. Lambda. And that's it right there, which is Lambda. And once we're on this page, what we can do is just go to create the function right here. As you can see right here, the author, here you can author a Lambda function. We'll create it right here. But once you're here, we're going to choose author from scratch. And here we'll just put a Lambda function name here. We can just say um, test project, okay? Test project. And let's go here and say run time here. We're going to choose here Python, which is Python 3.9. I'll go here and leave it this way, architecture this way. It's got to stay this way. Leave permissions this way. And we'll go here to create a function. Okay, you can see right now it's creating. It's creating. Give it some seconds. And our function has been created. Once it's created, you can just scroll down here and go to the code and have a look at the code right here. And this is what is going to display eventually. Okay. So let's leave this this way. And what we can do is to go up here and click on test on the drop down here, click right there. And you see here configure test events. And let's click right there. We'll add our name by saying um test test project okay event. And we'll click on we'll leave it as private. Well, we'll click on test right here. I will configure a test event. I will go here and click on uh, test project event. Okay, we can leave it this way. And we can scroll down and leave it in private here. And you can see here, it says hello world. This will be displayed eventually. I can go down here and click on save. Okay, save it right here. And once that's done, then we're almost done. What we need to do next, guys, is to create an API gateway. Okay, so let's go here. Let's open the AWS in another tab, a new tab. Okay. And now we can go to the services once more and type in API gateway. I see right here, you select that. And it leads us onto this page here. Once we're here, we can get started. And it gives us a number of APIs here. I will go for REST API. I'll click on build. It goes to this page here and it says here, create your first API. I want to say, okay. Okay, as you see right here, we can select um, REST and then new API right here. And then here it gives us the API name here. Give it any name at all. Let's say we not want to make it my API. That's my name, my API, my API one. Let's say my API one. And let's do here description here. We can leave this black here and leave it in regional. Okay. And now let's create API. Okay, we see right here the API is created. We'll go to the actions tab right here. As we are almost done, let's just click right there. Let's select this first of all, and then we'll click right there. And we can create method. And here we, we can click on the drop down. It says, it gives us options here. Any delete, get, head, we'll click on get. And click on this mark here, this mark, tick on it. We'll click on it. And then we can see, it gives us the integration type here, Lambda. And it tells us that we can integrate even more functions right here. HTTP, there's mark this AWS service. We'll click on Lambda, leave it in Lambda. We'll go right here, leave it in uh, the US East one region. Okay. And right here is where we can select our Lambda function. So right now it's blank, but once you start typing on it, it shows up. So it was um, test project. Once that's done, click on save. And then say to you about to give API gateway permission to invoke your Lambda function. 
I'm going to be like, yes. Okay, I click on OK. Once that's done, you see that we're almost there. It gives us a description of what's going to happen. The method request is sent to the integration request. That is sent to the Lambda, Lambda project here, the function. And the function sends it to the integration response, and that sends to the method response, and that sends to the client. So that's what we want. So we're going to click on this here, the test right here, and click on test on the bottom here. Okay, you can see right here, this is the display right here that will find hello from Lambda. Once that's done, guys, that's that's looking okay. Then we'll go back to this tab here, the actual tab here. We we'll select um, get. I will go here. I will click on the drop down. I will click on deploy API right there. And it says here deployment stage. You click on the drop down here and choose new stage. And then it says here we have to enter the stage name. Uh, and let's just say dev dev one or stage name. I click on deploy. Okay, and now it's deploying. All right, it says here in book URL. This is the URL as given to us. So let's open this in a new tab. Right click, open a new tab. And there we go. This is a new tab here. It says here, hello from Lambda. And that is looking all good. So what we'll do guys, what I'd always do is that I clean up my, my dashboard. I'll go back to AWS. And um, now we're done. I'll go and click off. Uh, on the services right here, I'm going to go back to the API function right here, or the Lambda function. You go to Lambda. I'm going to go one step and go to functions right here. And I want to delete my Lambda function right here. Go to actions. I click on delete. Okay. Delete. And close that right away. Uh, once that's done, I'm going to go to my API as well and go to the APIs I generated. Just one API actually. I'll click on the API here, go to actions here, and delete as well. So once that's done here, right, that's what is clear, and I won't be charged any charge any fees for this um, this demo. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.